Hi, how are you? Good, I hope. I've started studying a new issue. I've heard so many things about the lobbyists going into the Capitol and buying off our leaders. And it sounds pretty bad, most of what I've heard. So I started studying the issue. And when I study an issue, I generally go first to the histories of these issues as they are a rock to build your knowledge on. And this one is the one I started out with. King of the Lobby. The Life and Times of Sam Ward, Man About Washington in the Gilded Age by Catherine Alamon Jacob. Now read you the, the flap. King of the Lobby tells the story of how one man harnessed delicious food, fine wine, and good conversation to the task of becoming the most influential lobbyist of the Gilded Age. Sam Ward was a colorful character, scion of an old and honorable family, best friend of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, and charming man about Washington. Ward held his own in an era crowded with larger-than-life personalities, living by the motto that the shortest route between a pending bill and a congressman's A was through his stomach. Ward elegantly entertained political elites in return for their votes. At a time when waves of scandal washed over Washington, the popular press railed against the wickedness of the lobby and self-righteous politicians predicted that special interests would cause the downfall of democratic government. Sam Ward still reigned supreme by the early 1870s. He had earned the title King of the Lobby and jokingly referred to himself as Rex Vestiari. Ward cultivated a style of lobbying that survives today in the form of expensive golf outings, extravagant dinners, and luxurious vacations. Catherine Alamon Jacobs' engaging account shows how the king earned his crown through cookery and conversation, and how this son of wealth and privilege helped to create a questionable <clears throat> profession in a city that then, as now, rested on power and influence. <clears throat> Al <clears throat> Catherine Alamon Jacob <clears throat> is a curator of manuscripts at the Schlesinger Library on the History of Women in America at the Radliff Institute, Harvard Uni University. She is the author of Testament to Union, Civil War Monuments in Washington, D.C., also published by John Hopkins, and Capital Elites, High Society in Washington, D.C., after the Civil War. She's a very good writer, and there's a lot of details in here people need to know uh, before they go on and study more about the lobbyist. And this is really shows some of the mistakes of our forefathers, who at that time uh, should have put a nip in the bud of this kind of wickedness that was going on there. But still now, these uh, lobbyists work for the Golem corporations that pretty much hurt people for to protect themselves, which is a pagan god that they are worshipping, Mammon. <clears throat> and that would be a wicked golem as the corporations are, as they have no soul. So, I suggest you read this if you're going to study lobbyists. And I return with uh, a couple of the other books that I've read on this too. And for the evening or the morning, have a good one. Later.